Hello and welcome back to the channel. So in this video, we are going to be having a look at ornamentation and variation for the two slip jigs, Sir Philip McHugh's and the Leitrim Quickstep. I just can't seem to remember the name of that first tune. So the ornamentation and variation we're going to put into these tunes is to make them a little bit more interesting for you to play and for also for the people listening to you, just so you're not playing the same thing over and over again. Okay, so the way it will work is we'll just dive straight into the two tunes and I'll do all the ornamentation I can think of and at the end I'll play you a version of the tunes with some of that ornamentation in so you can get a feel for how often I'm using it or where I'm using it. Okay, now if you haven't learnt those two tunes I'll put a link on screen now for Sir Philip McHugh's and if you haven't learnt the Leitrim Quickstep yet I'll put a link on screen for that now as well. We also have a play along video which I'll put a link in for so you've got all sorts of extra videos you can do for this tune. Now, if you like the channel, please like the video, share the video and subscribe if you haven't already. And let's crack on with the tunes. That's our first phrase. So if we drop the C natural, we can then roll the G. Second phrase is this. Again, drop the D, go straight to the C natural. So those two bars would be this. We could even drop the D and roll that F sharp in the second phrase. And then I'm putting a chord of G and B on the end. So a bunch of rolls in the first one. <clears throat> Second phrase. So the most obvious thing is to take away that cluster of A, B, A and treble it. Which is fine. You can also take away the F, E, D and just do a D roll which is great for pipers. Next phrase. Take away the B and roll the G and roll the A before it. Okay, those two bars together. Making it very rolly now. Then it repeats for the third phrase. And then what we did in the A part still stands. So B roll, dropping the D. And then the chord at the end. That's probably everything I do with Sir Philip McHugh's. And I think that sounds pretty cool. The Leitrim quick step then. So we'll treble the cluster. So rather than G, F sharp, G, we'll just play a G roll or G treble. You can do a quick treble on the A here. Uh, I don't really like those quick trebles. I prefer to let the the crutchets on their own just be there because they, they're a bit more melodic and it's probably where the flute and whistle guys are going to take their breaths. You can still do it though. I just don't like it. I think there's more accent just hitting the note. Phrase three is the same. And there's your chord at the end, B and G, just like in the other tune. Second part. Probably leave all that alone. I'm just going to put a treble on the long C natural. And that's it. You've got the chord at the end there. And that's pretty nice. I think that's everything you want in the Leech and Quick Step. Okay, so hopefully there's some parts in there that you find useful. I'll play Sir Philip McHugh's and the Leitrim Quickstep now with some of that ornamentation in, just so you can get a feel for how they sound and where you'd use them yourselves. There's not too much going on in these tunes, but a few bits, so we might as well do them. Okay, play them together. After four. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Thank you. 
Great, thanks very much. Hope this was useful.